Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth and in today's video I'm beginning a mini series with special guest Sarah. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah over on Instagram at Wine and a Plan. And because we have Sarah here today, we are doing some wine and planning. Yay! So in today's video I am going to be doing my birthday week in Sarah's planner. So let's get right into it. All right, so we are going to jump into this plan with me. This is my birthday week in Sarah's Planner. So the main books that I'm going to pull from here, I want to combine my love of Disney with Sarah's love of florals, which I also love florals. So really the spread is all about me. Am I right? Um, but I found in Flower Power Mega Book, I have found red and yellow florals. That is the classic Mickey colors. So I've never done this color scheme before, but I want to try it. I'm like kind of nervous about it, but I think we should just jump into it. Um, yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we're going to pull the red and yellow florals. Oh, and Sarah gave me some wax paper, which if you've watched for a while, you know, I don't use anything like this, but I want to try it. So let's do something like this, because I kind of want to do a corner. I, th I think I want to do something like that. Although this one's really cute too. Maybe down the bottom here. I'm really thrown off by the wax paper. So let's see. Here's my thought. I kind of want to do one here and here to do like the frame situation rather than doing it on the edge of the page. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to keep the wax paper over here just to kind of store the stickers on, but then we'll just do what I normally do. All right, so I want this one like right in the center, so let's just do a little bit of cutting here. And put that right there. Oh, we love it already. Okay, so now let's do a yellow one up here. I'm cutting off that piece of green because I don't think I want to bring in green at all. So we can layer that right on top like that. And then this scrap from the red floral. So I'm going to just put that one right like that to kind of finish out that corner. And then let's do, I kind of, so this is a little bit more orange, but I think that it's okay. Let me, let's compare it. Let's look at these Mickeys. So, cause I think that the colors will match well enough. I spent like an hour trying to figure this out cause there's so much pressure on a birthday week spread, but let alone doing it for someone else. Um, but I'm sure this is going to be gorge. Okay, so here's like the color scheme we're going with. I think this works because that center is still really yellow. So let's do that like this. Yes. Mm, yes, honey. Okay. And then this scrap I'm going to put up here somewhere. But let's see, should we just keep going a little bit? Like part of me wants to do this one. Yes, yeah, Sarah loves florals, so we're gonna do the florals, okay? Right like that. Yeah, I think that's cute. That's like such a good floral uh, corner. So now let's do this one top right here. So in the middle of this one, let's do this big orangey yellow one. And I'm saving all the scraps because that's what we do here on Plan Your Truth. This one kind of looks like a sun. Okay, we have officially started the corner. So I don't have this one. I think I only had one of those. Let me see if there's a littler one. Not really. So let's do this one because I do have to bring that in anyway. And we'll do this. Okay. I 
think that's good. I think I need to add something here though that looks a little bare. Uh, maybe just, let's see, maybe that scrap is enough just to kind of fill that gap a little. Yes, cute. Um, let's see, I think that color will work well enough. So let's do that one here. Okay. And I think just a little bit of yellow down here and up top. Let's do this large, longer one up top. And then this littler one. Although I, can't, I do wanna bring in this one. So let's do that one here instead. Cause I love for my corners to go from like big to little. Yeah, that was a good addition there. And then let's see, I think we can use this like sun floral. We could do this one probably here. Okay, so that's the majority of the florals, I think. We'll probably come back and do some more. But now let's see, fingers crossed, that it pairs really well with some Mickey. So I don't want to overwhelm it with Disney because Sarah likes Disney, but not as much as me. Um, I kind of want to do this one. Let's try it. I think this is really fun, and I could do it, like, on my birthday is what I'm thinking. Because the other option is here. No, I think this is kind of fun. So let's do it, I think, right here. And then I can just repunch it and trim the bottom here. I think that the colors work. Yes, I think so. These are a little bit more vibrant and these are a little bit muted, but I think that it works. And since I'm doing Sarah's spread, we absolutely are having some wine while we're planning. Hashtag wine and a plan. Okay, so I wanna do, let's go into the smaller Mickey book because I don't think I want more than one Mickey on each side. I think that's probably enough Mickey for Sarah. Let's do this one because start your day with a dance party. Sarah should do that this week to celebrate me. Um, let's do, because I wanna do a big box here for my birthday. So maybe let's do it here on Tuesday. So Sarah, when you're watching this, Tuesday the 13th, you're gonna start your day with the dance party. Ooh, we have to do a quote, duh. Leave a trail of magic wherever you go. Let's do that one. That's cute. Um, let's do it like up here, kind of like in the corner situation. Let's see. Oh, oh my goodness, this is what wax paper is for. So I'm thinking like right there. Um, good thing we tried wax paper because I don't really like that. Maybe down here. Yeah, I think I like it here. But I'm gonna keep it on the wax paper because I also should really do at least two quotes. So let's see if somewhere else in the book, if there is another option with similar writing. It's one of those spreads again. I'm like, what do I do now? So when I don't know what to do, what do we do? We go back to Mickey, correct. So I like this quote, but I think I think what it's missing is I wanna layer it. Let's layer it on a box with like a decorative pattern like this. Yes, that is what it was missing, but maybe we'll do it Let's do it here. So I'm gonna put Mickey in this corner. Okay, so Mickey like that. And then we can layer this quote. Like that. Mm. So I don't know, maybe that's not the thing to layer there. Maybe we can do, let's go into a box. 
So I'm pulling the Mickey colorful boxes, but I don't want one with Mickey. But they have some good options in here. Ooh, yes, let's do this one. Let's bring that yellow in. And so we can layer that. So that'll be a box here on Saturday. That's cute. And then while we're in here, I need a big box for Thursday. <laughs> Maybe not that big. I think that's aggressive. Ooh, I really like this for a sidebar. Remember when I said only one Mickey on each side? <laughs> it's okay, it's my birthday week. Sarah will love it. Um, okay, so now I don't think I want to bring Minnie in. I think this is just OG Mickey. So for my birthday, I want to do one of these, but the colors that I want have like a gold Mickey and that's not what we want. So maybe I'll just do a normal box. So I think this will be in normal colorful boxes. Yes. So what if we did this? Does that red match? It's a little bit muted, but I think that it works. So I decided I actually want to do yellow up here. So I am going to pull from this Mickey Colorful Boxes book, this cute one that I wasn't going to use because I thought I wanted to do red. So this is going to go right like that. Okay. And then we'll do Christopher's birthday in that box. So then here somewhere needs to be a red box with a quote. I think that's what we should do. Or, or maybe we could do bullet points instead. And then let's do, I think I want to do this quote here. Leave a trail of magic wherever you go. I think this is looking super duper cute. Um, okay. So here I would love, I think a decorative box. I don't know what else we would do here because I can't add more florals there. But speaking of florals, we should bring some more of those in for Sarah's spread. So I'm thinking right here, we should do a yellow one. Let's do one of these. Kind of cut it so it looks like it's coming out from behind that box. Um, let's try it here. I think that's cute because we could still do a bullet point there. And then maybe down here, let's pull a red one. So I'd love for that to be like that. Just kind of peeking out. Cause this is a cute little cluster down here now. Yeah, I think that's cute. Okay, so then I think I do still want a red box here. So let's go back to, cause Sarah, we can sticker it up because she only needs like one box or bullet points for each day. Yeah, let's do a red box here. So back to Mickey Colorful Boxes, because if you didn't know, this book has a ton of boxes without the characters, which is what we are looking for right now. So I do want to also, so maybe we keep going with this idea, like that style of a box. So we could do this one. Although that's a little big. Let's see if there's a smaller red one without a character. Oh, there's one more and it says to do, but I think we should cover that up with something. So I want this box, I think right there. Okay, so now that we have this, I think this red box could go right here for Wednesday. And then let's do a yellow, because mm -hmm, I have this yellow box that matches that one, right? Up here somewhere. Yeah, it's just a monthly box, but we can still make that work. Maybe this should actually be yellow for Wednesday. 
and then move the red to Monday. So because this already has this like notch in it, instead of having to cover it up, we could just put it there. That's kind of cute. And then layer that flower there. Yes, a cute little scene. And then the red box, I was thinking that that could go now like here for Monday. So now let's pull some bullet points. Okay, so that was not really working. So let's, so I wanna test out this color. Yeah, I think this is what I wanna do. But instead of doing it like this, cause I don't want it to bleed through Sarah's pages, cause that's annoying. So let's just color other bullet points. So I've been using the, this page, and this is from the gold sticker book, just to kind of color my own bullet points. So I want to do, let's do a black bullet point, black bullet points for Tuesday, and red. I at least want two red over here on Sunday. So I'm going to just color those in red. You should probably let them dry, but who's got time for that? So that's a cool little hack if you're new to my channel because you can really make any color bullet points now with any of any markers that you have. So let's do two here on Sunday and I think I'm going to move this one over just a little bit. So let's do some black. I need at least four black. There are our black bullet points. I think this side's probably done. We could maybe add a floral right here. That could be cute. Maybe like a yellow floral there. And then this side, I want black here. So let's start with that. And that honestly is probably enough for Sarah. So maybe we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so let's see what we're working with here. I think that's enough of the bullet points. I could do red ones down here. Yeah, actually, I'm going to do that to make it even. So now we have red and black bullet points on each page. So as I was trying to come up with this idea for Sarah's planner, but for my birthday week spread, I was obviously also thinking about what I'm trying to do for my birthday week spread, but um, it's there's so much pressure put on holiday spreads and birthday spreads. At least I feel it. But, um, oh my God, I'm loving this. This is so flippin' cute. Okay, let's add some more florals and call it a day. Mm, oh my God, it's like classic Mickey, which is me. And then we have some florals there too, because I guess it's still Sarah's planner, but it's my birthday week. So I said I want to do, I think a yellow one here. So let's pull this one and do that right like that. I think I like that. And then let's just do, I have these like little red scraps that we could pull and do I think here so I'm just gonna add them yeah I think I like this one better because you can really see like that's a floral okay I think that I'm pretty close to being done here this is a little bit of a longer video than I usually do because I just want it to be perfect okay so I said I wanted to cover this let's do like a black label box maybe or wait what was this i heart mickey <laughs> yes we do let's do that instead <laughs> yes that's even better because now we don't have to bring in other black boxes but the other thing i wanted to bring in let's pull this black and white sticker book because i want to do a quote right here because we have a quote here so i'd love to just do black quote let's let's see one 
that is like kind of Disney, kind of Sarah. And I'm also, I kind of want it to match this font a little bit. Yeah, because that font with like the curly cues are here too. I think let's do this one. I think that it matches with the curly cues a little bit and it's the perfect size that I want because I want it right like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna write a little note for Sarah here. And I think that I am gonna be done. I really love it. I think that I was worried about the color combo, but I think that it came out really cute. Um, but let's see what Sarah thinks. I think it's time to do the big reveal. Come on over, Sarah. Okay, so we have Sarah here to see what she thinks of the spread. Sarah, what do you think? Oh my gosh. I love this. This is not my typical like style, but I love the Mickey. Mm -hmm. I love, he's super cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. Yeah. Red and yellow is on my typical go-to colors. I know. You know. I'm a neutral kind of girl. Yes, I know, but this is. But I love this. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know it's not, it's not I like the sassy you, Mickey. But... Reminds me of you. Thank you, I thought so. <laughs> and it's on my birthday. Oh, that's the other, I'll, I'll do, uh, we don't have to do it on video, but I'm going to put a birthday sticker here. Perfect. And then I'm writing my note down here. Love it. But yeah, it's it's like, this is, this is classic Mickey colors, which is me. So mm -hmm. this, I know you try to be all cute, like, let's blend, no, this is my spread. <laughs> I love it. I think it's really cute. I love this. So now all week when you're planning, you're just going to think of me. Yeah, I love this. For sure. I will definitely think of you. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. And remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth. Thanks so much.